so, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but take over the world. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take over YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer. Joined once again by my faithful manservant slash pop totem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for Death Stranding Director's Cut. So, my friends, Death Stranding originally released in 2019. A year. I remember fondly as the year I punched a corpse. But we are not here to discuss Death Stranding. No, 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 no. Today, we are going to discuss and review Death Stranding Director's Cut, which released on the 24th of September this year. Um, what year is it? Well, 2021, obviously. Um, are there Terminators yet? No, not yet. Oh. So, what is Death Stranding? Well, I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. This is essentially a postman pat simulator. But instead of having Jesse the cat, this game has giant vagina looking monsters. Yes. Uh, so what's the story? Well, I'm not even going to try to explain the story to you commoners. That would be like trying to explain to Bertram the meaning of life. Let's just say Death Stranding deals with the director of Pan's Labyrinth, the video game Titanfall, a James Bond villain that likes to eat people, that chap from The Walking Dead, and that lesbian from my favorite film of all time, Blue is the Warmest Color. She was also, coincidentally, in two James Bond films. But neither with the Bond villain who likes to eat people. Um, that doesn't tell us anything. Well, like I said, you commoners wouldn't understand it. Um, what is the meaning of life? Oh, that's, that's relatively simple. Tis a Monty Python film released in 1983. Uh, oh. Speaking of the meaning of my life, when I was a child, and while all you commoners asked Santa for toys or firearms for your Christmas, I asked for only one thing. To see Norman Reedus and Guillermo del Toro shouting together. And finally, Death Stranding has made that wish a reality. Christmas has indeed come early. Oh yay! What did you get me? This! Oh! Now what do we say? Um, thank you, O.C. You're very welcome, Bertram. <clears throat> so, graphics. Now, to describe how amazing this game looks, let's say that if the original Death Stranding is Ava Green, then Death Stranding Director's Cut is like if Ava Green had a twin sister, and they were both coated in sugar. Um. And chocolate sprinkles? Yes, and chocolate sprinkles. Uh, and strawberry jam? Yes, and strawberry jam. Um, and with whipped cream on top? 
Yes, and with, in fact, shut up, Bertram. Otherwise, we are likely to be here all day. The point I'm making is Dead Stranding Director's Cut is quite the looker. Um, and way out of your league. <laughs> Nothing's out of my league, Bertram. Well, except for an extra PlayStation 5 for the master bedroom, but alas. So, gameplay. In that regard, this game, like me, is completely unique. Um, a geek? No, Bartram, not a geek. Unique. You. Neek. Oh! Yes. Sometimes it's a horror game, other times an action game, or a walking simulator, or an open world game. Um, so what makes you unique, OCG? Well, I am the only YouTuber in existence who is not only talented, hysterically funny, and determined, but I am also incredibly handsome. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's okay. No, seriously, no. Shut up, Bertram! <laughs> Now be warned, dear viewer, you are going to be spending the majority of your time in this game watching cutscenes or navigating the world delivering packages. If that doesn't sound appealing to you, then, as Mother Teresa once said to me when she denied my request for casual sex, tough titties. Now Sam, your character won't be alone in this little journey. As you probably already know, you are accompanied by a baby in a pod. A BB, if you will. Um, what does BB stand for? Does it stand for baby? No, it stands for Bastard Brat. Oh, I see. Well, the baby you carry around with you is creepy. In the game or in real life? Um, in the game, obviously. Well, all babies are creepy, Bertram. Watching three men and a baby is like watching The Exorcist for me. Baby's Day Out gave me nightmares for three months. Ugh. <clears throat> so... What else can I tell you about the game, dear viewer? Oh yes! This game tucked at my heartstrings more than the violinists living in my chest. Um, you have a violinist living in your chest? Oh indeed! His name is... Valentine. Oh! So the game is sad at times? Oh yes! I cried more times playing this game than I did at Titanic. Oh, because Jack dies? Uh, no. Because I didn't see enough of the commoners die in the film. Uh, oh. Yes. So, in conclusion, I thought Death Stranding was fantastic back in 2019. But it's even better now on the PlayStation 5. Oh damn, I forgot to talk about the added content. Ah, uh, it's great. In fact, play it for yourself if you haven't already. Now if you'll excuse me, dear viewer, I'm off to re-watch the shower scene between Sam and Gelmero del Toro, during which I may or may not touch myself. Therefore, I'm going to give Death Stranding Director's Cut a 9 out of 10. Well, haha, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my review for the Death Stranding Director's Cut. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. 
don't forget to hit that bloody like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Feel free to share this video with everyone you know. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off. Be gone. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's finito! It's caputo!